In this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can fix and generally just we're going to discuss the message blocking for iMessage on the iPhone, which could be the problem whenever you, for example, trying to contact someone using your iMessage and your just text don't get it delivered. There is a blocking going on. First of all, you should keep in mind that just like you can block someone in your contact app, you might as well just be blocked yourself. So it's you're not immune to this. Nobody is. So it is possible that the other person has blocked you and therefore you cannot really just contact them because they don't want you. So this, this will be like the first thing to keep in mind. Of course, if you're texting someone and uh, you can see that they're, that the message gets delivered to them, then obviously this is not the case and you should not uh, have a problem with this. However, you should also keep in mind, generally speaking, that you shouldn't have access to proper internet. So you should be connected to either Wi-Fi or a cellular for the messages to be delivered and sent properly. So this is something that you just have to like check out it's like very basic and everything but you need to make sure just not to forget that oh am i connected to the internet or not so this is something that you, you should do and then obviously you cannot just go to the app store and update the messages app like this in case you want to update the built-in apple apps what you have to do is to update to the latest ios so you'll go to the settings software update and you to you need to find here the latest version which is available as you can see i don't even have it so if i experience some problems at the moment it could be really easily resolved with the ios update so definitely don't forget about that before you proceed with the uh, next steps then obviously if you cannot send iMessages or text messages it might also be due to your carrier perhaps you don't have any credit or any text left so you might as well be left with the option to contact the carrier so this is something that you should always do in case it has to do something with like connectivity and issues like that so hope you found this video useful i just gave you a couple of different tips on what could go wrong and what could be the reason behind it so yeah if you found this video useful just hit the thumbs up comment below whatever you want to like ask or like if you have a question and i will catch you guys later in the next video in the future peace out until then